Hello, St. Simon, Mr. DeCroce here. I'm going to show you a little geometry. We're going to classify a shape as well as measure its angles using our interactive protractor here on the smart board. So we have a triangle before us, and I'm going to label uh, the vertices of it as follows. We're going to call this A, we're going to call this vertex B, and we're going to call this vertex C. Now, it looks like angle B is greater than a 90 degree angle, leading me to think that this is an obtuse angle triangle, but let's just have a look. We're going to take our interactive protractor, we're going to enlarge it, and you are going to center this blue line here which is basically a 180 degree angle or straight angle right over the base of the triangle up to vertex B like so okay so I was saying that angle B looks like it's greater than 90 well this is a 90 degree angle and we can clearly see that angle B is greater than 90 degrees. In fact, it's actually 116 degrees. So, let's take that information and let's put that off here to the side. So, angle B is... 116 degrees and we also because of that we know that this is an obtuse angle triangle all right now let's measure the other angles namely angle a and c and we're going to see if they add up to 180 degrees so we said angle b is 116 okay from this ray to the bottom ray it is 160. okay so now we're going to measure angle a and we're going to rotate our interactive protractor like so okay let's just put it back to zero okay we are going to move it over all right, flip it on this side, line it up like so. I'll enlarge it a bit more so you have a clearer view of it. Okay, just bear with me here a little bit. There we go, we have it overlapped at the vertex. A little bit of maneuvering, that looks about right. And now we can measure angle A. Okay, so angle A looks to be about 38 degrees, approximately. Let's see, oh, 30, 38, yep, that's about right for angle A. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. We're going to jot down that angle A is 38 degrees. And now we're going to look at 38 degrees, angle A. Now we're going to look at angle C. So let's take our interactive protractor once again. Rotate it. Okay. Put it down back to zero. Okay. Overlap the blue line to the vertex, like so. Looks about right. Okay, we're going to measure this angle here, and that's 27. So angle C is 27 degrees. Okay, I'm going to reduce interactive protractor, put it out of the way. What did we say? 27 degrees. 27 degrees from this ray to this ray there. So angle C is 27 degrees. Now, this should add up to... 180 degrees that's what all angles in a triangle should add up to okay so we're going to do a little bit of um, uh, addition here six and eight is 14 plus seven that's 21 if i'm not mistaken 
So we've gone one degree over. Okay, two, five, six, seven, eight, and one. 181. So we went one degree over, which is, which is okay. It's not that bad. Um, I'm sure one of these angles was slightly off. But nonetheless, you get the idea of how to use uh, an interactive protractor. Okay, thanks for watching.